Hey, this is Mark with Dragon 7 Drone Tech. I am in beautiful Santa Barbara, California today, and we're gonna do a long range range test of the Beacon Plus with the Skydio 2 Plus, which is up in the air. And we're gonna see exactly how far we can get with the Skydio 2 Plus. I'm at the beach, so there's pretty minimal Wi-Fi interference there. There's a couple of uh, hotels and whatnot that are nearby, but I don't think they're gonna be that close to really affect the signal. I'm gonna be flying backwards over the ocean, so as the Skydia goes further away, it's gonna be further away from signal interference. Of course, I'm gonna be holding the beacon, Beacon Plus, that's gonna be still near other uh, areas that have Wi-Fi, but let's give it a try and see how far we can get. So I'm gonna switch over to the droney mode. And we're gonna adjust the distance to maximum, 300. And the height to 300, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the subject. So we have visual lock and let's go ahead and start. So now we already lost visual tracking and we've got GPS tracking. I'm gonna stay stationary for this test. We're already at 300 feet and clear as can be the live view feed is really sharp, coming back already. All right, there we go. So now we're gonna switch to manual mode, which it automatically did since that's the mode that I had it in. And I'm just gonna fly it backwards, controlling the drone with the phone. So we'll go backwards and also increase height at the same time. All right, so here we go. Hundred feet, hundred fifty, hundred feet altitude, two hundred feet, three hundred feet in altitude, two hundred feet in altitude. We did lose connection. Coming back here, connection is regained. We're at two hundred thirty-five feet altitude, actually and 346 feet away from the waypoint. I'm gonna move the camera. So where the blue rowboats, canoes are, that's where I'm located. And so I'm gonna to continue to fly backwards, maintaining that altitude. So yeah, so the distance is increasing. Now we're at 400. 450, 500, and how I'm holding the beacon is I'm pointing it pretty much straight at the drone. Okay, let's continue backwards. Approaching 600 feet. And just the camera here. All right, the feed is pixelating a little bit. So at 600 feet, pixelation of the live view feed, I'm gonna continue backwards. Approaching 700 feet, the drone kind of turned left and right all of a sudden there, that wasn't me. All right, it's still, oops, it's doing that by itself, not me going backwards, but I'm holding the 
virtual joystick to be backwards. I'm not toggling it. Now we're at 800 feet. Live view feed is pixelated. I'm going to just rotate the drone and see that see if that has an effect on the signal. Rotate it some more. Rotate it some more. So back so basically it's pointing away from me so the drone is facing out into the ocean. Doesn't seem to make a difference in the signal quality. Okay, so back pointing to where I'm located. I'm gonna go back even further here. 850, 900 feet almost. 900 right there. <laughs> Approaching a thousand feet. This is really impressive. Other than that little disconnection we had, I'm not sure what the, the message was. We'll have to review that in post. 1,100 feet. Approaching 1,200 feet. <laughs> Still keeps going on. 1,300 feet. Now I'm at 230 feet altitude. I'm going to just increase the altitude here. I'll go up to about 300 feet right there. We'll stop there. Let's continue backwards more. 1,350. 1,400 feet. <laughs> really impressed by this. 1,500 feet. Let's keep going. Live view feed is pixelating. Let's change the camera view a little bit. Okay, so it's a little hard to control the camera by sliding my finger on the screen. Let me go left and right. Left and right. It's kind of laggy. Let me continue back more. 1,600 feet. Seventeen hundred feet right there. Eighteen hundred feet. Nineteen hundred feet. I'm going to stop at 2,000 and just move the camera again and see how much control I have. I'm sliding my finger on the screen. Yeah, you can see it's laggy, signal weak. I'm going to keep going back, 2,000 feet. Twenty one hundred feet. Twenty two, twenty three. <laughs> you know, at this point, I'd rather have the signal be disconnected and then return to home instead of being so far away. But this is a long range test, so let's keep going on. Twenty five, coming on twenty six, twenty six hundred feet. <laughs> really blows my mind just using the Beacon Plus getting this kind of range with the Skydio 2 Plus of course 2800 feet 29 3000 feet okay at 3000 feet I'll test the camera control again by sliding my finger on the screen. 
signal weak it should momentarily but I can still move the camera okay all right let's keep going on 3,000 feet thirty one hundred feet this is ridiculous thirty two hundred feet coming up thirty two hundred feet all right I'm gonna increase the altitude I'll go up to the maximum which is four hundred feet okay high ceiling reached 3,245 feet, continuing backwards some more. Um, my battery's at 55%, so probably need to be heading back pretty soon here. So I'll go to 3,500 feet and call it a day here. You're never gonna need to use the beacon for this kind of range ever. So this is definitely an extreme test, but I'm quite impressed here. All right, 3,500 feet at close to 400 feet altitude. I'm gonna slide my finger on the screen and see the responsiveness. Not too responsive. There we go. Wow, we lost the video feed altogether for a while, but I do not have camera control by sliding my finger on the screen, not very well anyway kind of jump there for a second there it's jumping some more all right so that is far enough 51% battery hit the return to home there we go returning Woo! 34 14 feet away I think this is something new on the beacon and while well, this is at least a beacon plus i don't know about the original beacon but it shows the distance away returning to launch it says on the oh, and then i just turned away to get in the shade and it says it's looking for the skydia so probably when my body got in between the beacon plus and the skydio 2 that caused the signal to be weaker and got disconnected so all right so let's just hope that we connect real soon and we could get the live view feedback on the screen live view connection regained cool all twenty six hundred feet coming back Coming back. Two thousand feet. Ten point one miles per hour. In a little bit, I'm going to take manual control and fly that in. Let's look at the map real quickly. Thirteen hundred fifty feet. All right, I'm going to stop the return to home and do a little bit of camera work. So let's see what we got here. There's the harbor. Let me point the camera down. Okay, there we go. A little bit laggy there. Now just with the just with the phone and sliding my finger across the screen, I'm going to pan across the right. 
little laggy there, but it's pretty acceptable, especially when you're using the Beacon Plus. There's the wharf. There you go. All right, let's continue to return home. 1,200 feet away, 370 feet altitude, 10.5 miles returning home. Six hundred thirty feet, six hundred feet. Nice shot of the sun reflecting on the ocean, the harbor to the right. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day here in Santa Barbara, California. January 2022. Huh. Great to be out here. Great weather. Not so bad flying a drone, taking these kind of shots at the beach. 70 feet away, so it should be directly above me almost. I could hear the drone now. So it's directly above me, and then it's going to start to descend, which it is. Two hundred feet directly above me. Get it in position over the case. We'll do a little case landing here. There's the case. Get a little more centered. There we go. Hit land. Detected the case. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. All right, so very impressed with the range of the small handheld device, the Skydio 2 Plus Beacon. I mean, look at how small and portable this device is. Now I do have to say that you most likely will never need to fly so far because the Skydio 2 Plus is ideally a tracking drone with amazing obstacle avoidance so the subject needs to be visible in your shot like this. But when you want more panoramic shots like this, range does become more important. Now the original Skydio 2's weakness is a signal connectivity, so I'm happy to see that Skydio came out with the Skydio 2 Plus, and so I'm going to have some really helpful videos comparing the Skydio 2 with the newer Skydio 2 Plus coming up. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and as always, happy flying.